from KTIV, Siouxland's News Channel. This is News 4 at 6. Good evening, everyone. With recreational marijuana poised to become legal in Minnesota, one Northwest Iowa sheriff is worried about the cost in both money and manpower to, to police the violators when they cross the border into the Hawkeye State. KTIV's Matt Hoffman spoke with, or spoke with Osceola County Sheriff about the challenges his office could soon face. Lawmakers in Minnesota recently passed a bill allowing for adult use recreational marijuana. Even back in 2014, when Colorado did the same, Osceola County saw a spike in marijuana-related crimes. Back then, the sheriff says it was easy to spot an out-of-state license plate, especially from Colorado. But Minnesota plates are an everyday occurrence in Osceola County. I, I think the impact's going to be we're probably going to get a, a few more um, possession charges, of marijuana possession charges. And I'm assuming that are probably the um, impaired driving is going to go up also. The sheriff says the plan is to hire new drug recognition experts or send his current deputies to a school to learn the skill. With the Minnesota bill expected to become law, the sheriff does expect another major uptick in marijuana related crime. We don't really have a basic amount that they charge or don't charge with. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's kind of up to their, their discretion. Right now, the nearest dispensary in Minnesota is located in Mankato, roughly two hours away. Though the sheriff says the Highway 60 corridor has been contributing to the flow of drugs. Only medical marijuana is allowed in Minnesota at this time, and recreational marijuana won't be available until a new state agency to regulate the process is set up. Matt Offman, KTIV News 4. While Osceola County will lose the out-of-state license plate indicator, the sheriff says deputies can administer the same field sobriety test as they do when they pull someone over for drunk driving. We saw a little change today as some 